Greetings, so today we are derivating y and we have y equal to 3x plus e to sine x times 3x all the way to the second power times cosine x sine x and this is the first function, this is the second function uh, we could of course uh, multiply certain things and look at it differently but we will just say our first function and our second function which tells us we're going to be using product rule and we're also going to be using chain rule on our way it's going to be a very long one, so uh, let me start quickly. So first of all, the derivative of the first one times unchanged second one, which will be, first of all, the outer uh, function applied to the inner one, which is the power. So unchanged inner one times the inner derivative here, that is chain rule, uh, for the first part of the product rule. 3 plus e to sine x cosine x and uh, times just 3x plus e to sine x times 3 because this is another inner product rule and uh, then we are of course uh, multiplying all of this by unchanged second function And now we finally get to the second part, which will be adding uh, the first one, unchanged, um, and multiplying it by the derivative of the second one, which will be sine x, sine x, plus cosine x, cosine x. And now we can maybe, maybe we can um, get out some, some numbers here. So we can do 2 times, and now we can get out the 3. We can do 2 times 3, x plus e to uh, sine x times x. It looks like we also could get the, three, uh, the x out. So, um, yeah. Um, then we can do another 3 and yeah, so do another 3 and get it out of here. So it will be 1 plus e to sine x cosine x uh, times just x uh, plus e to e to sine x. Uh, times just one and then go sine x sine x and then all of that my uh, plus or we can take out oh we won't do that now so um, then we can expand this one actually so let's expand this one 9x squared plus uh, 18 x squared uh, e to sine x okay um, plus uh, 9 x squared times e to 2 sine x and this will be multiplied by we can rewrite this as this Okay, so we now have this, and this already looks a little more legible maybe. Uh, I think there's not much we can do left. I mean, uh, it's not really good to take out the next here. It would not be possible for each of these. Now here, of course, it would be, but there's no real reason to do so. So we will just write, we will put the three and three and two together, and we will just do 12 times. Um, x plus e to sine x um, okay we'll put the x here um, times uh, 1 plus 2 e to sine x uh, because we have uh, these two oh actually they're not because this is a multiplication so we have 1 plus just all of this e to sine x cosine 
x uh, times x plus e to sine x. And then we just rewrite all this stuff. This, I don't know, this cannot really help anyhow. And then we can take a 9 out of here. We can take a 9 out of here. So we can do plus 9 of x squared plus 2x squared e to sine x plus uh, x squared. Um, maybe, we, no, we cannot. But we could have taken the x squared as well out. So maybe let's do it that way. So we'll take 9x squared out. 9x squared. So we'll do 1 plus 2e to sine x plus n e to 2 sine x. And then multiply all this by just. Can write it as this. Cosine x uh, minus sine squared x. Okay, and we have it. Basically, we could, you know, we write it so many times, so many different ways. But this is basically our derivative. This is after a few steps of making it maybe a little simpler, but still, I don't feel like this is much simpler than this. I mean, if you're inputting, probably this is going to be quicker to input into if you're, you know, finding it for a certain value. But yeah, this is finding y prime for this function.